welcome to Storytime. So as the rebels were attacking, somebody at the party didn't understand that this was an attack and they said like, yo, this is off the hook. Eventually the rebels reached the border of the party place. The insane dancer obliterated all the rebels with his crazy dance move to protect the crystal. The aftermath left the place in ruins. After the attack, the dancers decided that they needed to strengthen their town, village, place, party, house, industry, dancing place. So they decided to get an abnormally poor bear skin. It was not a very good bear skin. It shed a lot of fur. But legends told that this bear skin could destroy any person that decided to disrupt its owner. They put it in a place that made it seem like it was in the background, but when there was confrontational attackers, the bear knew what to do. The dancers, comfortable of their new protection of their bear skin, decided to buy a cube pig. Now, a cube pig was made in a factory. Uh, they were very cute. The factory owners were very liberal, so they wanted to make everything look really jagged and uh, southern. <laughs> Noble Dancer said, I want the zebra colored one. If you know the backstory, Noble Dancer, when they were in detox, decided to devote his life to raising zebras. And everybody thought that was very noble of him. Greasy Dancer said that only heretics would buy liberal, jagged, southern products. He said this whole business was ceaseless and he barged into the factory owner's office and said, you sir are selling bovine products. Do I look like a frog to you? Anybody could sell something like this while your bankroll goes up, your big bulging bankroll. The factory owner felt very guilty. So in the best of his abilities, he made Greasy Dancer the honorary pig. <laughs> Um, mascot of the company honorary mascot of the company unfortunately he was very prone to altercations so they threw him in the barnyard and he was considered friendless 